Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Beautiful day today. And apart from the streaming of the lawn in the churchyard, I brought you back to one of my favorite places in Surrey, the beautiful Betchworth village. Back to Betchworth. I know there are videos from here before. We're just in St. Michael's church at the moment. But I wanted to come back here, have a look around the church. Um, it's a glorious day. It's always been good weather when I've come here and um, just take you along really. My simple video and we've got lunch booked at the Pheasant down at Buckland. I should have actually done it in the, uh, had lunch in the um, the Dolphin. We'd have had lunch before and it's really nice. Um, yeah I'll link all the other Betchworth videos below. <laughs> the time is have a little look around the, the village. Obviously, St. Michael's Church, I've said in other videos, and it's quite well known that the first scene from uh, 1994's Four Weddings and a Funeral movie was shot. And here, the main high street, called The Street, in Betchworth, was actually from the opening shot of, there I go past, opening shot from Lawrence of Arabia. How about that? From Lawrence of Arabia. Here we have the World War II pillbox I've shown before. I'm afraid it's all covered with overgrown leaves and trees. See, there's so many of these scattered around southern England, especially around the south, uh, the, the North Downs. Yeah. I'm right by the River Mole. Looking a bit murky and dirty actually today, the River Mole. It's very windy today, a bit windy and the sun keeps coming in and out, in and out. It's still warm and lovely. Yeah, pillbox. was a Saxon church on this site before this one. This is mainly 13th century, 13th century. Here lies the body of Bridget Brown, wife of Charles Brown Esquire, um, and died 1627, 75, 1627. Here lies the body of Peter Cade, Cady, who died on the 8th of March, 1679. here. Um, Andrew Cady, Esquire, Cady again, 1662, probably won't come out too well, and 1729. 
Now, if I've got my facts right, the only visible remains of the old Saxon church is in the south wall of the tower. It must be this. It must be this. It's the only one here, the ancient uh, Saxon part of the church. The only bit remaining in the in the church. Sixteen ninety four. These plaques, ancient church again. As I said, the only remains of the old Saxon church are in the south wall of the tower. So that will be around here. I'm not quite sure which bit it is. That's the only remaining part of the Saxon church. Ladies and gentlemen, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. We've got some hatchments up there. One, two, three. It says here the eight bells in the church tower were turned and rehung, and the clock restored and made to strike upon the sixth bell. After a year's silence, the bells were rededicated by the Reverend Anthony West on the 30th of June 1985. Look at this lovely ancient map. Look at that. Ancient church. Yep, here we go the Vicars of Betchworth. 1286 with William of Merstham, that's probably Merstham down the road. 1302, Richard of Rygate, Regate, the way the spellings have changed over the years, going up to 2007, maybe there's been more since then, Carol Ann Coslett. That's amazing, going from 1286 up to 2007 and beyond. When people are streaming, there's a lovely smell that comes off the cut grass. So you can't really come out. I know there's noise, but hey, it's got to be done. It's got to be done. We always get humble with this kind of thing. In grateful and loving memory of Hugh Fenwick Mott, uh, captain of the Queen's uh, Westminster Rifles, who gave his life for his country on July the 1st, 1916, and the Battle of the Somme, age 22. Oh, God. The west door is open. I've never actually been in this park, or have I? Yes, I have. I think this is much more modern. Um, as you can see. Yeah. Hope this is bright enough for you because it is quite dark in here. Um, yeah. Take you around. Might have a little moment's contemplation and well, meditation in a way. So there must be a part of the military section. There's lots of colonels and plaques to brigadiers. Very hard to see. These uh, tombs are 1614. Can't really read much of the or what's said. Oh, yes, I remember this from last time I was here, in memory of Sir Benjamin Collins Brodie, uh, Senior Surgeon to the Queen and President of the Royal Society, born 1783 and died in nice nice little walk around a couple of ladies just walked in so I thought I'd leave them to it but I've had a good look around lovely churchyard as well even with the streaming um, still have a good churchyard well, I'm in um, Orlando next month and around Florida you know, I don't really go to the churches because they're so modern, you know, especially in Orlando, they're only a 
probably 40 years old you know I do like the really ancient ancient churches like this beauty one of my favorites If you do come to Betchworth, you can just park in the car park for the church or at the Dolphin if you're eating there. Um, oh, more, more more noise. One day you can come to a village, and then it's nice and quiet. But it doesn't always happen. It doesn't always happen. I'm oh, just going to head back to the car and have a coffee before lunch. Let's go. Not the most attractive view of the church from here, um, but uh, yeah, just having a having a coffee for lunch. Lovely day today. The winds uh, died down now, but I do like coming to these villages. I mean, it's been a lifelong passion, really. Something that occurred to me when I used to go on holiday with my folks. You know, especially if it was in England. We did go abroad in the early seventies quite a lot. Um, but the journey to these places was just as exciting as um, the place itself and I've really explored in the last six and a half years on this channel and probably since 2015 when I was doing uh, a lot of walking has really sort of discovered Surrey it's, uh, as a county which I hadn't really done before I mean I knew places and I've been to them before and I still like the countryside but a passion for villages the countryside the history goes right back to when I was a kid um, you feel so sort of content when you're in these places even with the streaming going on you know and also East and West Sussex I've exploring recently in the last couple of years really getting into that um, that's been really interesting as you see in the in the recent videos I've been doing from there um, yeah this is nice Betros is nice very nice um, there is a road, obviously a busy road that goes, well I say busy, but it's a road that goes down to Lye and Chulwood and Gatwick Airport to uh, sort of B Road. We've got the A25 up there, the main road between Dorking and Rygate. There's always a constant hum of traffic somewhere, you know, um, and planes going overhead um, because say we're not far from Gatwick. I don't think we're on a Gatwick flight path, but we're not far from Gatwick. Um, yeah. Nice. Should we go and have lunch then? Over at the Pheasant. Yeah, I've been there two, three to four times before. Yeah, three times before I think. But it's lovely. Let's go. was nice a chicken and mushroom pie in the pheasant uh, at Buckland really nice very cool lovely staff oh that was nice that's gone down well so I hope you enjoyed this little video from Betchworth I know I've been there before I'm sorry but it's such a beautiful little village and I wanted to explore it again and uh, St Michael's Church so do the usual please if you can like subscribe all that normal stuff and we'll see you next time Take care.